Hey there guys, welcome back to another video. So, I got bored. I rewrote Umbracore, my um, Arch Linux package manager in Rust and uh, Iced, which is a GUI toolkit. Now it has all the same features. The only difference is it works better. And uh, here's the search. Same as always. Flashbang. There's a light mode and a dark mode. And of course, you have your settings to enable the AUR and flat pack support, you know. Here's your installed packages. Once again, you can go and search. And you got your system update. So, you know, search for system update. It populates. You basically go and update system. This pops up. Really cool. Type this button. Uh, type in there your password. It will prepare the updates. It will install the updates. Hopefully. I don't know. Let's check again. Ready? Yep. It installed the updates. I gotta fix that. Alright. You can also check for the AUR updates from right here. And of course update the AUR. If it lets you currently this package refuses to install so it's probably gonna end up failing probably gonna need to update that too but we can go back and we can check to see if it succeeded or not and it didn't see that that's annoying that package is doa uh that's what it feels like anyway it just doesn't want to do anything so we got the maintenance tab all nice and clean take care of any of the th maintenance necessary stuff that has to happen you can rank your mirrors restore your database backup database it's all here all right all of it which is nice got your flat pack so again we can go and type discord and press enter and you can see all the packages and stuff here and yeah, you can also remove what you currently have installed if you need to. But when you click on it, it will show information about the package and everything like that. So there you go. Next, we have repositories. So we'll show you what repos you have. And I'm so thankful this looks as good as it does because this took a while to get right. Uh, there's also the kernel manager. So if we go and we click install select it. It will tell you what it's going to install. It detects that I am using NVIDIA and it will install the NVIDIA open drivers. If you're using a GTX card, so let's say uh, 1070, 1080, 1080 Ti, 1060, 1050, 1050 Ti, it will install the closed driver. So there you go. And that's pretty much it. It's as simplistic as you can get for a package manager. And the good part is it won't pull a Manjaro and DDoS the AUR. Because God knows we don't need more AUR DDoSing. That's just not cool. And I do have to work on some scaling still. But for right now, it does an okay job. There's probably a few things that I need to fix with the UI. There you have it. There is the package manager. I also need to fix the icon, but... You know, it is what it is. So you guys can check the description below uh, for the package manager. I will be attempting tomorrow to build the build script to, you know, make it easier to compile and stuff like that. But yeah, if you decide to compile this before me on a fresh install, let me know the dependencies and an issue. Feel free to open one and let me know what you had to install. Again, this is Arch only. So Arch, uh, Cache, Endeavor, you know, uh, Zero Linux, things like that. This will work fine on. Okay. All right. I'm off. Just another tool to try to make things uh, a lot easier on Linux for people. Because that's what should be done. Cool tools like this that just work across many distros. 
And uh, I also have a Fedora package manager currently in the works. I think I'm going to basically build the same UI for that one. And yeah, I do have to add into here uh, the ability to edit SCX sketch. So that way you guys can do whatever you do with that. Just so it's an everything all in one. Anyway, if you appreciate the work that I do, uh, leave a nice comment. I always appreciate it. Like the video, you know, if you're new here, subscribe. Uh, if you want to donate to the channel to show support, you can do that. They're in the description below. Uh, or become a YouTube member. Everything helps. And I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.